Now let's look at the functions that relate the time domain specifications and system parameters. So the first you have rise time. Uh, this is a, a very crude approximation. So rise time is given by approximately 1.8 divided by omega n. The settling time is given by 4.2 divided by zeta omega n. This is the 4% settling time. The overshoot or percentage overshoot I should say is given by 100 times e to the power of minus pi zeta divided by root of 1 minus zeta squared. And the peak time is given by Tp equal to pi divided by omega d where omega d is the damped natural frequency. Now there are some interesting things that go, go on here. Now if you have omega n constant then rise time is constant. Now where is omega n constant? All over the circle here. The circle here. So any system that whose um, roots lie on this this circle have the same rise time. Similarly, when the product zeta omega n is constant, settling time is constant. So any system whose roots lie on this vertical line has the same settling time. Percentage overshoot, now if zeta is constant, percentage overshoot is constant. So any system that has its roots on this radial line has the same percentage overshoot and similarly when omega d is constant peak time is constant what that means is any system that has its roots on this horizontal line has the same peak time. So you could draw several horizontal lines like so and all systems on a given line will have the same peak time. Now let's look at a few MATLAB plots that illustrate this. Here what I've done is um, the damped natural frequency omega d is constant. Now let's look at three systems here. Uh, so if omega d is constant, the peak time is constant. So let's look at three systems here. They are on the same horizontal line. And these are the corresponding uh, graphs. Now it looks like all these systems hit the peak time at two seconds, all three of them. They have different overshoots, they have different settling times, but they all share the same peak time, which means their roots lie on the same horizontal line. Here we have three systems that have constant damping, which means they should have constant overshoot. So th these are the three systems. And of course the corresponding complex pole is right here. So I think all of them are on damping zeta equal to 0.6 right here, here and here. And here are the corresponding step responses. And as you can see, they have the same peak overshoot or percentage overshoot same thing they have different peak times different settling times different rise times but the same peak overshoot here we are looking at the product zeta omega n equal to constant which means the distance of all three systems from the imaginary axis is the same. They are on the same vertical line. And on the left hand side here, we have the same uh, three step responses. And if you notice, these are the error bands that I'm looking at, 4% error bands right here, this one and this one. And all three of them enter the error band at the same time. The red one enters here, the green one enters here, the blue one enters here and then after that they remain within the error band. So they have the same settling time which in this case is 6.3781 seconds which I found from MATLAB. 